Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style, I am Vadik and today we are going to talk about large time frames like daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, we will go all over all time frames. For swing trading I am using only daily and 4 hours time frame, but I do monitor large time frames like weekly, monthly. It's good for investors. Okay, now as usually let's move and to, yeah, we are going to figure out is it bull or bear market? What's going on with the stock market world? As usually, let's move to fi my five rules of risk management. Please read it and follow it every single trade and you will be successful. Now it's a time for VBull. Let's start from VBull. If you want to learn more about VBull setup, just go to the description. There is the link about VBull setup and other links about all my trainings. Now, uh, let me briefly mention how it works in my setup. My setup is I'm using moving averages, white line MA200, purple line is MA100, blue line MA50, yellow line MA20, red line MA10, green line MA5. MACD indicator lines, RSI indicator lines, awesome oscillator bars. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. If you follow the indicators, you will be successful. Because indicators do not have emotions. Like on my, my screen, you see MA5 green line did bullish crossover over MA10 red line. It was bullish trend. When bars above MA5, it was bullish trend. What happened recently? Bars moved below MA5. It was bearish trend. And it is bearish trend now. MA5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20. Bearish trend. MACD did bearish crossover. RSI did bearish crossover. Awesome oscillator change color to bearish. Bearish trend on all indicators on daily time frame, right? Now let's start. Let's have it works. Let's start from DXY. DXY daily. It did bullish crossover. SMA5 MA5 did bullish crossover over 10 and 20. Last bar about 20. Bullish trend. It did touch 50. 50 could be strong resistant. Blue line. So far, trend is bullish on daily time frame for USA dollar. Weekly, it's different. Last bar still below all moving averages except 200. Still bearish trend on all indicators. Monthly, same story. Still bearish trend. Last bar below MA5, 10 and 20. Still bearish trend on all indicators. Quarterly, what's happening quarterly? Not enough data quarterly. Okay, monthly is still bearish, right? It's only bullish on daily. Let's move to Qs. Qs, let's start daily. Daily, like I said, bearish crossover, bearish trend on all indicators for Qs on daily time frame. Weekly, first week red bar, nine weeks before it was green bars, bearish divergences on all indicators on weekly time frame, right? Let me show you. You see, MACD has bearish divergence, right? And uh, Awesome oscillator bearish divergence. RSI has bearish divergence. Let me just remove it and make it clean. Bearish divergence, right? All indicators. Multiple bearish divergences. Price action bullish trend on weekly. Monthly. Let's see month. Monthly. Price action bullish. Bearish divergence monthly on RSI. On MACD. Also, right, on the awesome oscillator, also bearish divergence. It definitely wants to have bearish reversal. Yeah, like this one. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. Quarterly time frame, same story. You see the price action bullish. Bearish divergence on a MACD, on RSI, on awesome oscillator, all indicators they show us bearish, they show us bearish divergences. It means Qs wants to have correction. Last bar disconnected from all moving averages. 
the yellow line it's a first reversal stop green line it's a second reversal stop and the red line it's a kind of uh, large reversal stop we'll see if we can get there so far it is bullish with bearish divergences now let's move to s p 500 spx let's start daily and i didn't mention for q's right daily you see it it left multiple gaps up it's already created one gap down it can bounce fill this gap first and it will continue bearish trend it will be lower high it will fill the gap and it will continue bearish trend to fill all these gaps same for s p 500 multiple gap ups uh and it, it can yeah it didn't make an all-time new high you see it didn't uh it like it missed 25 points to make it all-time new high hughes did it and uh and dow jones did it uh let's let's see both bearish trend on all indicators right on daily time frame for s p 500 weekly bearish divergences bullish trend on weekly bullish price action bearish divergences on all indicators still bullish trend only daily bearish monthly same bullish trend bearish divergences on all indicators on monthly multi years bearish divergences and on all indicators it means definitely wants to have correction right bullish trend monthly quarterly same bullish trend double top bearish divergences on all indicators definitely it wants to have correction from the double top scenario if you check the 2008 2000 uh top the market all also did double top and did correction and did uh, a recession and correction after that they call it market crash but it's not a crash because it's always correction market never crashed i mean crash to the zero it will have correction level like i said like yellow it's the first kind of destination for the correction green it's the second destination for the correction red one it's a third one extended destination for the correction and the final possible the purple destination for the correction that's what we can get on the corrections right let's see on the four cues same for cues expected destination yellow it's easy to do green one the second expected destination and the red one it's a final destination it can move from 400 to 100 and it will be not catastrophical for the market market still bull still will be bullish on the on the on the large time frame like early but i don't have the we bull doesn't have so much data to show it like for last 100 years or 200 years okay um Still bullish with bearish divergences, uh, S&P 500 also, right? Dow Jones, let's start Dow Jones daily. Dow Jones was very positive, very bullish, still very positive. It just did recently bearish crossover, uh, reversal signal. It's a just signal, not confirmed trend, because it's still about 20. We need to move below 20 to have confirmed bearish trend. So far, it is just bearish crossover signal it left five multiple gap ups all indicators already switched to bearish reversal signal weekly time frame still bullish last bar it's in decision bar dodgy bar it's a reversal bar it can start reversal from this bar bullish trend monthly last bar above all moving averages bullish trend and bearish divergence on the 
MACD, RSI, and awesome oscillator, right? Bearish divergence, right, on monthly. Let's go back to weekly. Same on weekly. On weekly, we don't have bearish. It doesn't have bearish divergence. On weekly, maybe it has. On the, yeah, it has on the multiple years. Started on RSI from a long time ago. Let's see monthly. On RSI. Let's go back on RSI. It started oh, from 2018. You see, bearish divergence for Dow Jones also multiple years, similar like for Qs on S&P 500. It definitely will have correction, right? Monthly, that's what we have: bullish trend with bearish divergences. Quarterly, that's what we can get. Let's see. The first expectation is this level, right? Let's my uh, let's make it it's yellow, yellow card color. Just expected expected destination for the correction. The second one will be uh, this expectation. Right? Of the correction. Let's see, it's a red one. Red one. Expected destination. Third one, it will be destination is over here. 150 approximately. It's approximately. I'm not just make it exact. Let's let's make it purple. And uh, and it even can go to this level, 2007. That's the normal correction, 2007, to reach the previous high, previous high of previous circle cycle. This is the can be clearance blue. That's what we can expect from market correction, right? From 377, it can get even to $100. That's absolutely possible. It will not be catastrophic. It will be just expected correction. Because this cycle was unusual, the longest in the, in the, in the history. That's why it can be the most painful. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. So you see, even on quarterly bearish divergences on all indicators, it definitely wants to have correction. Uh, early, yeah, no, no data. Now let's move to IWM. Let's start daily. IWM daily bearish reversal last bar below SMA 20 bearish trend on all indicators. Bearish trend, right? Weekly time frame. Just for last two weeks, it did kind of connection back to SMA to MA5. It was disconnected and finally it connected back to MA5. Bearish reversal signal not still very disconnected from MA10 and 20. Still bullish trend on weekly, let's see, yeah, still bullish trend, no divergences. Monthly, still bullish trend, last bar above all moving averages, still bullish trend for IWM. IWM the most, yeah, is still positive, like all indexes, the positive. On quarterly, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend, and MA5 did bullish crossover over MA10. Bullish trend for IWM. Let's start. Let's do TA for uh, Apple. Apple, the largest stock in the world, and it it's Apple drill. Uh, the most expensive stock in the world, right? It was three three trillion dollars. Now it's definitely less. Bearish reversal, it left gap, gap downs, two gap downs, 
very strong and last bar touched MA200, MA200 strong support, it can, we can expect bounce from it. RSI in very oversold territory can expect bounce. Maybe it will bounce, and will close the, the, fill the gap. And it will the gap, fill the gap on, S, on the S P and Qs, and after that it will make it lower high, and it will do continue correction. We'll see, maybe not. Weekly time frame, bearish reversal signal, last bar even closed before twenty, below twenty. I'm sorry, bearish reversal signal so far. Almost, yeah. Bearish divergences on all indicators, you see price action uptrend, bearish divergences on all indicators, on RSI, on MACD, on the awesome oscillator, bearish divergences. Now let's move to monthly. Monthly, MACD has bearish divergence, RSI has, let's see. RSI has yeah, multi, multi years bearish divergence started from 2020 and awesome oscillator has also bearish divergence. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. Actually on monthly did bearish cross MA5 did bearish MA5 did bearish crossover. All indicators the indicators did bearish crossover. Not confirmed yet, because last bar still above 20, still bullish territory. Signal is bearish crossover, bearish signal, but not confirmed bearish trend. Still positive bullish trend. Quarterly for Apple, last bar above all moving averages, bullish trend on all indicators, bearish divergences on all indicators. Look at it even on histogram. All indicators they have bearish divergences, multiple bearish divergences definitely wants to have correction. Bullish trend with bearish divergences. Similar for Apple, I don't want to make it lines. Let's make it lines. Yeah, the expectation. Yeah, the first large expectation it can be here, right? First line. around the zone 103 right it's the first yellow line expected the second one will be very painful could be this one or could be over here yeah 74 line and 50 60 Let's move it, yeah. I would, yeah, I would make it over here. Very painful line. Red one. A lot of blood. And the next one, it will be this level. I'm not even talking about 2007 level, previous high. Even this one will be around point thirty dollars will be so painful so painful now let's see okay that's what we can expect from the from the correction okay uh let's now let's move to tesla tesla let's start daily Tesla did bearish crossover, bearish trend, last bar just touched SMA50, bearish trend, SMA, MA50 can be strong support and it could bounce from it, bearish trend. Weekly time frame, last bar did bearish reversal signal, still kind of, yeah, it's bearish reversal, it's below 20, it's a bearish already. Also weekly bearish for Tesla. Monthly. MA5 did bearish crossover, but last bar still above all moving averages, still bullish. Still in the bullish territory. Quarterly, MA5 ready for bearish crossover. 
kind of yeah all indicators bearish we'll see if it can continue bullish trend it's in a kind of sideways very questionable it can be it can continue yeah sideways or it will continue bearish reversal nvidia nvidia the most bullish right let's see daily still last bar above all moving averages still positive bullish at bounce from smi 20 but smi 5 did bearish crossover over 10 and 20 it is bearish technically weekly still bullish last bar above all moving averages still bullish is same bullish trend bearish divergence on macd on rsi on awesome oscillator bearish multiple bearish divergences monthly time frame bullish trend bearish divergence on rsi no bearish divergences on awesome oscillator bullish trend with bearish divergence on rsi and quarterly straight bullish run bullish trend rsi has bearish divergence also can be yeah this level 300 can be first support very disconnected last bar from all moving averages and if it's, it's expected this can, destination from the correction can get e to 75 dollars level it's 2018 level and it will be not not uh, nothing critical money wise it will be very critical from 500 to 75 it is very painful maybe it will never will get back to this same level or maybe it will take i don't know another 20 years to get to the same level who knows this kind of blow of top it can be very painful bullish trend microsoft microsoft daily already did bearish crossover bearish trend same way it did touched ma50 can bounce from ma50 so far it is bearish weekly time frame bullish trend bullish price action with bearish divergence on macd on awesome oscillator bearish crossover now signal monthly bullish trend on all indicators bearish divergences on all indicators trend is still bullish right nothing changed quarterly for microsoft bullish trend same story it can reach 200 dollars and expected destination can be 2015 around 45 50 dollars that's how painful can be yeah the expected the first expected step it will be to around 220 220 dollars um bearish divergences on all indicators also and bullish trend last bar disconnected from all moving averages amazon daily time frame bearish reversal last two bars they touched ma50 ma50 could be strong support it can bounce from it bearish trend weekly time frame last bar just started bearish reversal signal bearish divergences on all indicators at the same time you see ma20 did bullish crossover it is positive bullish signal it can bounce this bearish reversal signal monthly last bar above all moving averages still bullish trend for amazon and quarterly same bullish trend on all indicators uh, support that can be a first destination for the correction 100 dollars yeah this yeah second can be 70 80 yeah, 80 dollars then it will be 40 dollars and the final destination will be around 20 dollars for amazon baba alibaba group let's start daily 
daily it started bearish reversal signal it was kind of bullish and started bearish but it's still in the bearish territory you see last bar below all moving averages all moving averages you see downtrend it is very negative bearish trend for baba baba is very weak weekly time frame same story last bar below all moving averages all moving averages downtrend very weak bearish trend monthly last bar below all moving averages all moving averages downtrend bearish trend for baba baba is very baba is on the on the you see baba it, it did all, all time new high right over here three thousand fifteen dollars three hundred fifteen dollars now we did double bottom it's a double bottom it's already had it's already had all corrections right looks like it can bounce from this level 55 double bottom and it definitely wants to buy and it has bullish divergences on monthly you see bullish divergences actually it's not a bullish divergence no it's not bullish divergences but it definitely wants to have bounce because it was very oversold and it did double bottom uh, pattern so far it's very weak very weak that's all that's all from my side i did review for all indexes and equities in my watch list that's what i expect for this year for for uh for indexes and equities that's all let's move to my disclaimer i'm not a financial advisor this video for educational and informational purposes only remember for educational purpose we are using paper trading simulator thank you for watching simple trading style videos i do publish daily weekly monthly updates for stocks etfs indexes and cryptos please subscribe this youtube channel click like button to support this channel I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now.